Hey guys, it's Abby, and you're watching The Morning Marshall. Lunch for today will be super chilly with tropical fruit and cinnamon rolls. Congratulations to Miss Kathy for winning the Elite 50 Hospitality Award. She has won three years in a row and is making some delicious foods and treats for people all around the community, including her bake sales here at school. Here is what she had to say about the honor. You know, this program, when we started the culinary program, um, you know, I started with about six kids and no money and an old little kitchen and um, you know, we didn't do any catering or anything before then, and um, you know, not a lot of recognition from the community or you know the you know industry you know, that my kids work with, and so it's neat that you know that the kids are you know are able to be recognized and um, for the time and the effort that they put in. Next week there will be a virtual ACT math cram session hosted by Miss Burchett on Zoom. She will be hosting two sessions, one at 10 and another at 12. This is for juniors. See Ms. Burchett for the Zoom meeting, password and ID. Here is something that will make you smile. MCHS math teacher Ms. Buchanan sent us an email last week about artwork that is being drawn on her board, but she is not the one doing the art. Her hallway neighbor and fellow math teacher, Ms. McPherson, has been stopping in on Mondays and adding her creative touch to the room. This is a time lapse of her latest artwork. Ms. McPherson has a minor in art and says she thought about teaching it, but decided math was her best teaching option. She says she enjoys her time in Miss Buchanan's class. Miss Buchanan says the kids love the artwork and can't wait to see what is created next. At the end, you see Mr. Paul Adams adding his final touch. We are told they collaborate often on the artwork. Now a quick note from Miss Griffith. FFA competition day is coming up quickly. If you have not already stopped by Ms. Griffith's room to sign up for speaking contest, parliamentary procedure, or junior chapter meeting team, please do that as soon as possible. For those of you still job hunting, can use Ms. Baker's QR code that can be found directly across the stairs. The QR code contains businesses nearby who are actively looking for new hires. These businesses include Walmart, Parcells, and Cracker Barrel. A form for McDonald's may also be found in Marshall Mission. It's time to request classes for next year and you have some new options. If you are interested in being a lawyer, a law enforcement officer, a teacher, or enjoy building websites, new next year at Marshall County High School is offering pathways in criminal law, pre-law, web design, and education. Also next year, a new class in media arts, a drone class. The class is open to all students that have taken Intro to Media Arts, or you can get in the class with approval from Mr. Darnell. Marshals, we have good news in regards to COVID restrictions. Whereas we used to only have a maximum of 50% capacity of restaurants and buildings, now we have been raised to 60%. We are getting a lot better and numbers are going down. We are even getting to come back to school for full in-person instruction. This may seem like a small change, but this means that we are getting better and that we are taking the right steps to getting over COVID. The Knights of Columbus Council is hosting a fish fry at the Calvert City St. Pius X Church, Fridays from four to seven all this month. In addition to the fish fry, there will be chicken and shrimp. Proceeds will be donated to Marshall County organizations like Hope Clinic. As a reminder, we will be going back to in-person learning on March 10th. As such, we need to remember that hallways are now one ways with few exceptions, and to keep a safe six feet away from others. You will be able to see which way a hallway leads by simply looking at the arrows on the floor. That's all for today. Thanks for watching The Morning Marshall.